Meg went crazy as Harry deeply regrets and begs the King Charles to invite him to Cenotaph next year. Prince Harry is viewing his decision to quit as a senior royal with deep regret yesterday as it meant that he couldn't publicly mark the country's war dead at the Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph. In his heart, he really wanted to participate in the event, but he was forced to follow his wife. Now he seems to be regretful. Long-standing Raw commentator Richard Fitzwilliams said the Duke of Sussex would have found the service difficult to watch, owing to his own military links. He told Express.co.uk, The military will always be an important part of Prince Harry's life, and however he may pretend to the contrary, he must be deeply conflicted. Harry served in the army for 10 years, including two tours of Afghanistan, but when he quit as a senior royal, he was subsequently stripped of his military titles and patronages. This means he's unable to wear military uniform at royal events such as the late Queen Elizabeth's funeral last September. This would have been a kick in the teeth. At the Queen's funeral, he couldn't salute as he wasn't in uniform as he was no longer a working royal. It must have rankled, but it was his choice. He also lost his military patronages, which he valued so much. The Sussex's spokesperson suggested that King Charles should invite Harry to lay a wreath at the Cenotaph next year, but the statement has been criticised. A Palace Insider expressed that Queen Elizabeth II was our Commander-in-Chief, who Harry disrespected. Harry has no respect for her in the last year of her life. Her 70-year service or respect for the Commonwealth, Harry doesn't deserve. Harry thinks wearing UK service medals to perform a comedy skit for a foreign country's veterans is noble. It's offensive and insulting to the UK and the US, and every service member in both countries. It's been explained from all sides that the British royal family doesn't pay tribute in a personal capacity. They don't honour the fallen like Charles, Camilla, Elizabeth, but rather they all do it on behalf of their military patrons and the Queen, and now Charles did it, because they were commanders-in-chief. There are no personal tributes at that event, so Harry, who represents no one, has no right to be there. Having a record of military service is neither here nor there. The king lays the wreath on behalf of the nation. Prince Harry's upset over losing his future in the royal family after putting a bad name to his father. The Duke of Sussex realises he went far on in his ways and became hurt. Speaking exclusively to Daily Express US, Tom Quinn, author of Gilded Youth, An Intimate History of Growing Up in the Royal Family, tells Daily Express US, Someone who worked for Harry when they were at Frogmore in Windsor said to me, What are they going to do when people lose interest in all the complaining? What happens when the complaining has to stop? What positive role can he have as a royal? Harry's made it very clear he feels horribly badly treated, and I think he's already beginning to regret it because he understands the value of being a member of the royal family. All Harry's complaining is really about the fact that he's not number one. He doesn't have a bigger role, Quinn claimed.